in, and there's a drifting shot wide, short on the glove side, off that right shoulder of Gravel. It's loose off the trapezoid, bringing it around, wrap around, curl around. Oh, my goodness! I'll tell you what, a little bit of a glitter with the glove there. Tight angle shot, ripped out wide of the target. As uh, Gravel was out of the net, who set a rice down to give and go. Boilar backs in off that right side. He goes to the goal, fires a shot, this one. He is going to possibly hit the post as well off that glove. Little look-see feet off that right wing. Campbell doesn't get to it. Right back in again. Uh, here's Gagnon. There's a shot. Say made. Rebound. Front door. Holding on. Is in the white ice area. There's going to be Morna with a shot. That one springs off a shin pad. Up off the right side. Poirier's in free. Showtime. Here he goes. Big hand shot. Say made. This one off the right pad. Again, another showstopper. In behind the Islanders net now. And eventually, here's going to be Jardine and an outlet feed up the middle now. Here to the outside, stepping in, shot towards the goal, save made as Allen got into that one. And he gave it a wicked wrister. Some of these key players here, they don't have a ton of size. They have some skill. You don't have size, yes. but you're seeing size right now in the playoffs. Snapshot this one into the lunch pail of the goaltender. Save will be made by Bickle again. And a kill looking again to receive mid-blue line. From 64. Two feet, dishes it wide left side for Malofsky. He steps in from 40, tight angle shot, they score, no angle. And it's gonna be Poirier, he's gonna to try to bank it off the goaltender. And again, it's a no angle shot. And it's enough to be played off the short side of the goaltender, Bickle, and it's gonna find net. And it's one nothing on that power play, so they went 0 for 4 last night, one for one here. And Hawkins goes to the box for Slashing off the face off, and it's Poirier. I mean, just rips it. You know it's going. It's almost like Ovechkin. You know it's going to him. Ovechkin doesn't score from that angle. Poirier will shoot from anywhere. I mean, he's almost across the goal line. And you know it's coming. Bickle battles, but it's he just he's upper wide to the stick side of the goaltender. Bickle and Charlottetown resets in behind their own goal. Trying to give a little quick out. Intercept to Gill stepping in. One on one. Oh, what a save! Larson's he with a legging. Blocker side, what do you say? How does that not go in? Full pass, broken back up again. Again, top of the circle, Gill. He dances now, tries to freelance with it. Feeds it wide, shallow left circle. Another right off, and they score. And it is going to be Gagnon parked right in the paint. And this is uh, going to be a goal mouth pass. Tapped home and redirected. Some so they went 0 for 2 last dominant. night. And they're 2 for 2 tonight. Yeah, there were... They're just deadly on the man advantage is Gill. Down low and they got Gagnon. And I actually didn't even get to him. It went off either Topolinski or off Bickle on the way through. They're trying that cross ice pass. Uh, maybe it did. That second angle. Look. As Michaud near point. Cross point feet. There's a drive. This one has drifted off in front. Campbell's tripped up again. No call. That's twice. He's been tripped up, no call either time. There's Giovanni Morno, a dribbler, high to the slot, down low, score! Oh, what a beauty! Tic tac toe there for sure! Oh, hot good! Short side, power play goal! And the Islanders have cut the lead in half. Now, Kiersey gets his first point of the playoffs, and it's a terrific pass. Sells the shot, and drops it off, and Cole Hawkins finishes. What a terrific play by the Islanders late in the power play with 47 to go. As the Islanders wheel it around, puck comes up high, Kiersey sells it, passes it right off, and what a finish by Hawkins on his off wing. That's a big goal by the Charlton Islanders. Here's Kiersey, backs it up high off the left point, turned over, Donovan Arsto. Back for Malofsky through center ice, rink wide feet. Gill threads a pass for Malofsky back in, puts the brakes on from 45 feet. There's Arsenal playing keep away, there's a shot, scores! Donovan Arsto with Justin Gill parked off in front. But this one is going to be, again, by Arsno as uh, he gives a, a bit of a ride off that wrister and off in front, Justin Gill, and Gill with his second of the series. Yeah, just the, you know, every opportunity. And a great move by Richmond's Donovan Arsno Across the blue line, Dipsy Doodles, waits, 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 fires it through, and terrific. I mean, Gill just standing wide, wide open in front of the net, nobody near him. And Arsno's looking for the redirection, sees him, Fires it, it's off the stick of Gill, who's standing there all alone in the back of the... And all deep inside the Islander zone again. High to the right point is Bernier. Back is Poirier, shakes off a check, 
rolls up, scores! It's Poirier again, making it four to one. And this is a wicked wrister oh. off that left face-off dot. Get a bad angle. And it's going anywhere. to get by the goaltender. Bickle and it's four to one. He'll shoot anywhere. Yeah. The best pure goal scorer in his draft class. Maybe one of the best pure goal scorers in a long time here. To come out of Quebec, La Belle Provence, and he's just stepping around, and he just goes upstairs, short side, two goals and 45 seconds apart. And the Dracar is at the dagger. Uh, tough sledding now. Tough sledding now. Corey, both his goals. And again now. Left point shot. There's a drive. Save made. Downs the goaltender. Scramble mode. Leaks off in front. Nets open. And again, Charlottetown will try to get it out. There's uh, Kiersey trying to protect the puck. Angles it off the left wing boards to the Bakemo blue line. Here's our snow. Boards wide feed left side for Justin Gill. Stepping back in again. Gill drives to the goal. Scores. Draws the goaltender down on the stick side. And then finds just an opening. Uh, to Squeak one through, low off that left pad. And just uh, beneath the glove, we've got the fourth goal of the period and fifth of the game, Justin Gill, the former Islander, showing yep. why he was valued as a as a trading asset for Patrick. Just Gay. powers around Toplininski, walks around Carter Bickle, tucks it home. Justin Gill makes that look very easy. Gill's uh, third just, goal of the good series. Good kid, great kid. Yeah, loved him as an Islander. You and I were certainly by a significant margin. Here's going to be two four. Uh oh. There's a shot. Oh, another save! I'll tell you what, it's a, going to be a lightning legging save again. Really happy going out to uh, four straight last year. Possibly the same thing this year. Right off in front, swept out towards the goal, they score! And this one off the right face-off dot. It's gonna be a power play goal. That didn't take long. Eight nope, seconds. Dufour was another one that's uh, a man amongst boys. Tough part is, we still got 15 minutes to play here. It's 6-1. So tonight they are four for four. That's a Thank stat. You. Four for five. Pretty effective. Yep. Same as last year. Uh, when you play Quebec. Right off in front. Arsenal to the goal. Two save made. Bickle again. Song that right wing point by Fenico. This looks like the Harlem Globetrotters. In shot. There's a shot. And that's going to be drilled by Arsenal. Save made by Bickle. And he will hold on. on out of the first round. And they've got in front, there's a shot. Oh, what a save. No, this one is finally going to trickle under as it's walloped by DeFore underneath that left pad of goaltender Bickle for the seventh goal. And that coming at 1746. It's an exclamation mark, we call that. So DeFore as well with a two goal game, both coming in this second, or rather the first and second, both coming here in this third period. No one near him. No. 